Steel Magnolias is a wonderful story of, of a little community, this community of six women who go through hardship, who go through great joy, all the while knitting closer together through, through this community that's set in a beauty shop. The salon is something different for me because I'm not from a small town. I've moved around a lot and I, I went to several different high schools and so I, I didn't have that same kind of community that she has built with these people in this town that she watched Shelby grow up, uh, that she's been there for all of Malin's births. It is such a funny show. Such a funny show. It's so interesting because when he wrote the show, he in completely intended it to be a drama. And then it was a comedy because Southern women are hysterical. Um, I, I have three sisters. I don't have any brothers. I have three daughters. I don't have any sons. So in some ways, this is a very familiar world uh, for me. Uh, not the beauty shop, but just the world of, of, uh, of uh, women. Um, so in some ways, it feels a little bit uh, like, like coming home. When they first announced the cast list of this show, um, I think that we were all exactly on the same page. Like these are, these are some of my best friends, um, people that I have memories with and experiences with and have had deep intellectual conversations with and have inside jokes with. I live with uh, two of the people that I'm performing in this show with um, and I, I wouldn't want anything else. It's, a, it's been a challenge but it's also been a great reward is that the ladies that are in the show are all in emotionally, all in. There are some people that are in the show that, uh, at least on the past productions that they've done at Liberty, they have uh, been featured in musical roles or maybe smaller parts. So for them to really be able to sink their teeth into something that doesn't have any music or any dancing to it, but just sink their teeth into the emotional complexity of these characters, I think that's probably been the biggest challenge and the biggest reward for them. Shelby is very, very fiery and independent. Uh, most of that comes from growing up with diabetes and her mom overprotecting her with her brothers, um, allowing them to have the life that they can have, whatever. But for her, being with a diabetic um, situation, she's a bit more protected by her mom. So she kind of lashes out a bit more um, and fights for her independence. Well, I'm playing the character of Malin, who is Shelby's mom for everyone who knows the story. Um, she's a very strong character and she shows her love and how much she cares for everyone and her ability to put everyone's needs above her own. It's very encouraging but also challenging to play her. Um, I was very intimidated with the role when I found out I got it, but she's just inspiring to me and I want to be more like her. I love that Truby is so quippy. I feel like just saying all of these really intelligent um, Southern colloquialisms that she has makes me a more clever person. I love the way that she loves people and I can relate to that a lot. I think it's funny because she feels like she's everyone's best friend, even if they wouldn't necessarily feel that way, like she definitely knows that they're best friends. Um, and that's just so fun for me to play because um, I think that I can relate to that very well. This, I, I think this, this show will seem at once familiar and then also like you're peeking into a little bit of foreign worlds. You get to see the inside of these ladies' life. And when people encounter hard situations and joyous situations, how they truthfully react when they don't think that they're being watched. It's a story about people finding faith, about testing the bonds of family. It's testing the bonds of, of friendship through death, through birth. It runs the totality of the human experience all in just a couple hours. <laughs> Spoiler alert, this show does have sad moments in it. Um, it does have some some really hard things that each character is going through, um, kind of at different levels of depth that we just we discover and explore those things, um, but everyone has something. Shelby's attitude about her diabetes. She never sees it as a bad thing. Even though everyone else yells at her and tells her that she should talk about it all the time, um, it makes me think of my friend Haley, who is dealing with cancer right now, and she's 21. Um, she has um, lymphoma. And yet, life seems so much more beautiful because of it. Another challenge is probably just the fact that she's gone through a lot of difficult things in her life. Watching Shelby's mother deal with grief and how real that is, even if the show ends with this kind of sad tone, because grief is sad and it's broken, but it shows human life and we will deal with grief. And it was also a really good reminder that 
It is true that everything does happen for a reason and God uses everything in our lives to make us stronger. And it was really cool to be able to look back on this personal tragedy that really affected me and see how it was helpful to tell this story. And all I can hope, I guess, is that this story will touch someone the way it's touched me. No matter what you're facing, no matter what the difficulty, no matter how much it hurts, uh, one, it gets better. There's, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And two, that's why we have community. That's why we've been given the people in our lives. That's why we develop relationships um, so that when we're going through these hard times, we are not alone. Um, and I think that that is such a good redemptive message for people to hear because um, anyone who thinks that life is just gonna be peaches and cream all the time is not correct. <laughs> while there is, there is great depth, while, there is, while sad things happen, these are characters and these ladies are really smart, they're really funny, they're really present and you will see, if you don't see yourself, you will see the women that you love in this show.